Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful time. Today I will give a small tutorial video on sorting algorithms. You may already be familiarized with the topic of sorting algorithms. So on that case, it will be a quick revise on the topic. If not, let's just dive right into the, today's video. What is sorting? Can you think of a definition for sorting? Also try to think of a many of many sorting algorithms as you can. You can pause the video if you want to. I have put the picture of the sorting hat in Harry Potter. When you put it on top of someone's head, it will tell the house they're in and the student will be categorized by by the similar characteristics and personality well done if you have managed to think of a definition and names of sorting algorithms if you have struggled then here is the definition sorting is is to arrange objects values or le uh, letters systematically in or in groups separating according to type. I put a picture of buttons um, sorted in colors. So you can see here green buttons are sorted, only green buttons, and here only white buttons. algorithms that we are going to use allow the pattern of the number to change. Sorting, there are many sorting algorithms that can be used to order a list to an ascending or descending order. This can be used for binary search, finding the median, or to make it easier to find the lowest and highest number and the range. Bubble sort, merge sort, insert sort, quick sort. In my in your list of sorting algorithms, you should have had these four common ones. The two algorithms that are in orange that that it, that are in orange are covered in the GCSE and they're the ones that this video will go through. So now I will introduce you to your first sorting algorithm called bubble sort. I have put a picture of bubbles to um, help you remember, remember this sorting method. Here's an example of a list, or you can call it an array. So, they'll start comparing the first two digits, 5 and 3. 5 is greater than 3, so it will swap. So, 5 is greater than 3, so it will swap. This is the index. Index number. So you can see here it has swapped. Six is greater than five, so it stays the same. 6 is greater than 5, so 6 remains the same index number 2. So, yeah. 10 stays same place, so because 10 is greater than 6.
12 is greater than 10 so that's, that's why it will stay the same 100 stays the same and fast 1 completed 101 also stays the same fast 2 started fast 2 starts and you can see now try to order that 3 is more than 5 so stays the same 5 is greater than 2, so that swaps. 6 is greater than 5, so it stays the same. 10 stays the same. 12, 100, and 111. All, all stays the same, so they're all greater than. Fast. Three started. Three stays same. It swaps with two because it's greater than two. So you can see two has swapped with three. Two, three and five stays same because five is greater than three, so it stays same. Six is greater than five, so it's the same. Ten, twelve, one hundred, one hundred eleven, stay the same. Pass three complete. So the sequence has been ordered correctly and the sequence is ordered list can now be used for binary search to find any number in the list I'll give you a challenge to find the number 12 I give you five minutes to complete it you can pause the video to complete the binary search thank you now if you're finished we'll move on to the the advantages and disadvantages of power sort. Can you think of an, a, an advantage of bubble sort? The first example is first advantage is bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm. Second one, it is very memory efficient because it requires only one space as extra memory it requires temporary value created by swapping adjacent elements disadvantage of bubble sort it's a time in if in a time it is efficient it doesn't does not deal well with a list containing huge number of items this is because the bubble sort um, re requires n number number process steps processing step for every n number of elements to be sorted second uh, sorting algorithm is merge sort and i put a picture of a puzzle to show it's been merging together combining together so this is another example of an array containing negative numbers zero and positive numbers it splits into uh, two separate like it divides like so it splits again in the bottom splits like that So it's been split into quarters. Now it'll split again into individuals. There'll be one pair which has not split it yet. Splits again. 
So the two tens can split now. Now you can notice that every single number is individual and separate. Combine now the individuals will combine and sort itself. So it combines like so. Combines again. Combines again. Combines. It combines like that. And it sorts itself. It has been sorted and merged. It will again merge and sort like so. It will again be sorted, combine itself, and then it will become sorted. 4, 7, 8, 10, minus 2000, minus 1, 0, 10, 20. It merge and it sorts. And Final sorted is this minus minus two thousand minus one zero four seven eight ten ten twenty. The sequence is ordered. The list can now be used for binary search to search any number in the list. Advantage and disadvantage of merge is always fast, even in the its worst case. It runs in O and log N. It's also stable. The disadvantage of merge sort, merge sort uses lots of memory. It uses extra space proportional to N. It can slow down when attempting to sort very large data. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and put a comment on the section below. Could you please give a constructive criticism on let me know what you liked about the video. Thank you.